welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, in today's video, I just wanted to touch briefly on the topic that is heartbreak. It's a really big topic and there are lots of different ways into this topic, but I just wanted to bring up a very tiny point that I hope will help ease the pain of heartbreak or residual heartbreak that you might be experiencing. Before I get into that, can we see heartbreak in an astrological chart? I'm not so sure about heartbreak. I, I suppose we can sort of assess the potential of heartbreak for a person. You can see events like divorce. Uh, you can see you can see how a person will feel in relationships, definitely. Um, and you can see where challenges might lie. Definitely one of the things I look for is, you know, is Rahu Ketu Axis sitting in a candor position. That can make things challenging for a person. Uh, I do look at, of course, Venus for marriage. I look at, you know, Venus... As the wife in a man's chart, Jupiter as the uh, man in a woman's chart, you know, assess the health of those. Uh, there, are, there are lots of different things. That's really a huge topic. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of all of that in this video though. All I want to do in this video is actually bring up a point that I think will just help ease the pain of heartbreak. The reason I'm putting this video together is because on the weekend someone asked me about it and I talked them through this process and it seemed to really help. So because of that, I thought, why don't I share this with everyone? It might help someone else. So all it was, was just, I sat with that person and I got them to think about not romantic relationships, but just any kind of relationship and it could even be a relationship with a job could even be a relationship with a place but what I wanted this person to reflect on is the fact that they have choice the fact that they can choose to leave if they want to and I wanted this person to reflect on times when they had chosen to leave situations or places, or jobs, or, or just anything they didn't like. And you don't particularly have to have a reason. If something doesn't gel with you, if you don't want to be there, well, guess what? You have the choice to leave. And you don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to feel bad. You are absolutely allowed to leave. It's okay. You're allowed. And so I got this person to really reflect on their right, their kind of fundamental right to leave in a guilt-free way, in, a, in an easy, relaxed way that, you know what, it's nothing personal, I just don't want to be here. Because it's that fundamental right that we all need and it's so important and we need to be grateful for that right. We need to be grateful to have that right. And I actually think that it's very often having that right that permits us to enter a relationship in the first place, to explore a little bit, you know, because we're not sure and we think, well, should I, shouldn't I? And you think, well, you know, I can always leave, right? You know, it doesn't have to go forever. I'm just having a movie, seeing a movie with this person or having a meal or, you know, I'm not getting married kind of thing, right? So, very often relationships happen or start because we value our fundamental right to leave. And I think problems with heartbreak can sometimes occur when it wasn't your choice to leave. The other person took that choice and, and you know, uh, they, they decided to end things. So what I said to this person is that think of the times when you did want to leave various situations and really reflect on what it is to have that right to leave if you want to in a guilt-free way 
um, in an easy way, in a non-personal way. You know, you like that person, but I'm sorry, I have to be on my way. So if we value that right because we have that right, and if we're grateful for that right, the more grateful we are for having it, the easier it is to give it to the other. It is a situation of give it and take. And we need to give that right to the other person. You wouldn't want them to not have it, really. Do you know what I mean? Like really way deep down, you want everybody to have that right because you have that right. It's kind of a fundamental thing. And what we have, we need to give, you know, because when we give, good comes back to us. It's really that cycle and that flow. And I think the way to handle heartbreak is really to value the fact that you yourself have that right to leave if you want to, to value it, to be grateful for it. And that will help you to give that to others easily and freely. So I hope this angle on the really massive topic that is heartbreak, I mean, I don't know if it can be solved in a YouTube video, but I, <laughs> I hope this little tiny thread helps in some way. And if you can feel good about that fundamental right, and really think broadly with this, think about jobs that you've wanted to leave, think about I mean, I can think about a tube carriage that I've wanted to leave. Do you know what I mean? That sometimes I go in a tube carriage and there's someone strange and I think to myself, okay, on the next stop, I'm getting out of here and I'm going to the other carriage because, I mean, you have to sometimes, you know. <laughs> so I definitely value my right to be able to leave and I definitely want the other person to have that too and, and I do respect that right and, uh, you know, I think if we can let go graciously and if we can graciously give that right to other people, uh, our lives become a whole lot easier. So I really hope this helps. If you would like to work with me or work through anything or have a look at your chart, unpick things, see what's going on in your life, feel free to get in touch with me. There'll be an email address at the end of this video and of course in the description below. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and do come by again to see what's new. Until then, bye for now.